And so our story begins. But who is the hero of our tale? Then let his destiny unfold. Less lucky, like finding a four-leaf clover. <laughs> Although I think I prefer the clover. Oh, look, little sparrow. Castle Fairfax looks so nice in the snow. Imagine the grand dining hall. I bet Lord Lucian's having roast duck this time of year. But he must be really lonely since his wife and his little girl died. In that big castle, all by himself. If only we could live there. What is going on over there? Come with me, little brother. Hello there, young Rose. You look hungry. Have you reconsidered my offer? We'll never be that hungry. The answer is no. You'll be back, and I'll be waiting for you. Come on, little sparrow. Let's see what's going on. Just a trader. I can't see anything past this lot. Isn't much. A ladies and a gentleman. I have traveled the land, accumulating wondrous and mysterious objects, which I now offer to you for the modest price of five gold. Consider this. This is truly a magical mirror. For as long as you look into it, it will make you beautiful. I'll take it. Very wise. Now, just remember, the magic only works if you look at it in complete darkness. Ah, now this is truly a marvel. This small, unassuming box is actually a device created by the ancients, as used by the old kingdom rulers themselves. <laughs> Turn the handle three times and you shall be granted a single wish. There's no such thing as magic. 
best thing to do is punch anyone who gets too close. We live in grim times indeed, if the young are too world-weary to believe in magic. Most children your age believe eagerly. Look, I can see your eyes are bad, but I'm telling you, that music box is rubbish. That's what the seller thinks. He has no idea what he stumbled upon. But you have an inkling, don't you? Some part of you wants to believe it's magic. What? You... you really think it could be? For five gold coins, you could have your answer. Listen to me, Rose. At the end of that week, you and your little sparrow would be no closer to your dream, no closer to the inside of that beautiful castle. What if it is real? I bet we could get five gold pieces, and maybe this could be a way out of here after all. What is there to lose, little sparrow? Come on, there must be someone around here who'll pay us gold to... do something. Three more sales and I can go home. Oi, kids, hey. come here a minute. Hello, Derek. Lose something? My arrest warrants blew right out of my hands. They could be in all corners of Bowerstone by now, and I can't leave my post. Hey, why don't you find them for me? You could be like uh, little constables. Sounds fun, right? How much do little constables get paid? Paid? Listen, kids, these are the five most wanted criminals in Bowerstone. Yeah? Well, how badly do you want them? Fine. <clears throat> One gold for all five warrants. Deal. So, we look out for those warrants. But for now, let's find some more money. Oh, Monty. You should whisper, so Mother doesn't hear. Your mother is an accursed cow. What? I didn't hear you. I said, your mother is an accursed cow. You say something, Belinda. Oh, no, it was just a town crier, Mother. I'm sorry, my love. You'll have to be quieter than that. Can you find a happy medium? Oh, my little dove. Any medium would be happy with you in it. Oh, Monty. I'd give anything to be able to speak freely with you. At normal volume. Oh. And what, my dearest darling, would you say to me? I'd tell you how I ache for you. You can bake me anything you like. No! I said ache for you! Oh, well, you can ache me anything you like, anything at all! Oh, Monty. You know just what to say to get a girl's heart racing. I only wish I could say it more loudly or that you were in closer proximity. But for now, we must torture ourselves with furtive whispers. It is torture. Like having my body slowly sawn in half. The blade starting at the groin and ripping its way back and forth to my throat. Oh, Monty. That's really kind of disgusting. 
I'm sorry. Spell over me, I lose my mind. I don't know what I'm saying. Oh, Monty, is that true? Yes. I have so much I want to say to you, to shout to you, sing to you. Poetry of love that makes my chest nearly burst. And none of it involves sores at all. I'm really sorry, I don't know where that came from. Oh. Belinda. Oh, Monty. I'm going to clean up this town, and then Lord Lucian will make me sheriff. <laughs> Pull the other one. Pull the other one. Hello, children. Now, all you have to do is strike a pose for my little device. You'll be positively betwazzled by the results. Be what? Ah, yes, I've been improving my vocabularium with a wonderful book bought from Mergo the Trader. A thesaurus. He's a bit silly, isn't he? But this could be fun. What's he doing now? I'm staying right here. I want to see if that thing works. <laughs> you can shove it. Mum Peter killing me, but it's worth it just to see. Oh, wondrous. This thing's going to be more popular than that box. Now. I just have to wait three months for the picture to developify, and I can start showing it around. Oh, I can almost smell the gold. <laughs> three months, he says. Told you it was a swindle. Easy money for us. He's a bit scatty. Hope he's all right. This is just confusing. We got our first gold coin, though. The fellow who sold it to me said I should fuck you line. This must be the alley the warrants blew down. We should take a look. <laughs> Come on! Rick's caught a dog and he's gonna kick the crap out of it! Ha! You like that, you stupid mutt? Hey! What the hell are you doing? Having a bit of fun. What's it to you? Oh! He hit a girl. Yeah, and now I'm gonna hit another one. Thanks for your help. I could have taken him, though. Glad to be that wreck. 